The United States has accused Russia of trying to use an American journalist as a bargaining chip. Irvin Gershkovich has gone on trial accused of espionage offences, allegations both he and his employer deny. North America Bureau Chief Jade McMillan joins us from Washington, D.C. Jade, what's the latest on this case? Well, this trial is largely being held in secret. So journalists were allowed briefly into the courtroom in the Russian city of Yekaterinburg. They captured footage of Evan Gerskovich. Uh, he had a shaved head. He was standing in the glass defendant's cage, which is a feature of many Russian courtrooms. But the proceedings then quickly moved behind closed doors. The Wall Street Journal reporter is accused of spying for US authorities. The allegation is that he was gathering intelligence for the CIA on a company that produces tanks for Russia's war in Ukraine. He denies that accusation. Uh, his employer also denies the charges. And the US government uh, argues that he is being wrongfully detained. That is an assessment that has also been made of another American being held in Russia, Paul Whelan. The US State Department spokesman Matthew Miller spoke about both cases earlier today. Russia should stop using individuals like Evan Gershkovich and Paul Whelan as bargaining chips. They should both be released immediately, and I can uh, uh, attest to both Evan and Paul and their families that the United States will not rest until we have brought both of them home. So the State Department spokesman Matthew Miller there uh, speaking about Evan Gerskovich. As I said, uh, the US has determined that he is being wrongfully detained. He insisted that uh, those efforts that are taking place behind the scenes would continue to try to get him home. Jay, just what's at stake in this trial? Well, if Mr Gerskovich is convicted, he could be facing up to 20 years in prison. And uh, many experts in this area expect that that is highly likely, that in the Russian legal system there is a high probability of a conviction. The Wall Street Journal has argued uh, that what it says is a bogus accusation will inevitably lead, uh, in their words, to a bogus conviction. Now, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, has previously suggested that this case could be resolved uh, through a prisoner swap with the United States. And there is some recent history there. In 2022, the US released convicted arms dealer Victor Boot uh, from prison. That was in exchange for the return of American basketballer Brittany Griner, who'd been held in Russia on cannabis charges. Whether or not that is a feasible option in this case, uh, we will have to wait and see. Either way, uh, Russia has signalled that that would be unlikely to happen before, or that that wouldn't happen, in fact, until a verdict is delivered. Mr Gerskovich's next court date isn't until August, uh, and we don't yet know how how long it could still take from there. Jade McMillan reporting.